Well guys, here we go again. I'm back to that piece of shit starter station. That's it. Solder station gave out again. Now, I had bought this little 40 watt system real quick. I don't know if veritable, but it's nothing fancy. <clears throat> Nor is it the best one in the world. However, that's working 10 times better than this one because this one never wants to work. Now, when I bought this one, I used it to fix this one. I opened it up and I found tons of cold solder joints. Once I repaired them, it started working again. Well, guess what? It stopped working again. This thing has been a thorn in my side since the day I bought it. The power supply, I can say, okay, I have a use for it occasionally. It's a very low amperage and it goes from like, I don't know, maybe 0 to 16 or something. I don't even know. But what it can be good for is if you wanted to put a little voltage on something so that you can trace it, it's good for that. However, you can't run anything with it. Now, the so-called little heat gun or desoldering tool uh, that comes with it, that works fine. But you know what? For the price that you pay for this, you could buy one of those and not have all this crap hanging around. So I'm going to take it apart one more time to see if, in fact, I can fix it. Because right now, what it's doing is absolutely nothing. <laughs> if I turn on the solder, I'm going to make sure I get the right one here. Solder. Okay, it's set of 410, now it goes down to zeros, and that's where it'll stay. Now, I can bring it up, bring it up to 425 or 420, bang, right back down to zero, and it will not come up, it just won't work. I've changed the tip. I've checked the element, I've checked the connector in here because sometimes these are like little mic plugs and sometimes these here get stretched out a little bit and you don't get a good connection or sometimes in here if they have a slit in them sometimes they'll close up a little bit and you don't get a good connection but I've got a good connection on both ends so at that point I know I'm set so it's telling me that the tip isn't plugged in now as soon as I plug it in it goes back down to zero and it will not come back up that's where we're at so that's kind of how it is that's the story. So again, like I say, I'm going to pull it out, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because I've got it pretty well settled in there. Um, and I'll take it apart one more time and use the cheap one to uh, try to fix it. And uh, we'll take it, like I say, one step at a time. This wasn't worth the 65 bucks. I mean, it was a cheap unit. I should have known better. But this isn't worth the 65 bucks. It works, but it's not worth $65. I could have bought this anywhere for that. Uh, so that's kind of it, guys. Uh, I got to take this screw out of here and uh, move that over. So I can get that out, and I'll be right back. As long as I'm still on, what's this? That doesn't look right. Come on. 
try to get a haircut today. I mean, I really let my hair go out of control. I mean, this is the way I used to wear it all the time. I always had it long. But as it gets gray, it doesn't want to stay the way that it used to stay. And it used to stay in place. Now it just wants to go haywire. I like it somewhat long. I don't like real short hair. However, unfortunately, I can't have it long because it decides it wants to do its own thing and not my thing. I'm looking at another Weller station uh, online, actually. That's what brought me over here. I said, let me give this another shot before I look at that other station. I have it on the website now. I'm actually, it's on the, over there. I just have to hit the add to cart button. I want to do a little research on it though first. You know, I mentioned it before, when I had my store, and even when I managed another shop, uh, we had a Weller station, and it would last forever. Every, it would, and we turn it on at like between eight and nine every morning, and it would stay running all day until sometimes uh, guaranteed to at least five o'clock, but sometimes later. Uh, when I say later, sometimes six, seven, eight o'clock. Uh, the night guy, when he shuts down the close up the store, he would shut the bench down. And so it means it's on then. Um, and we may have occasionally, I, I'm not saying we never did, because we had to, the, the solder tip would get changed maybe every couple weeks. The solder unit itself, maybe about every two years. But the station was always there. It never had an issue. You know, nowadays, nothing wants to work. I mean, it's a, it's a nightmare. You, you, you find crap. You know, that's like Dremel. I mean, look at the problems I've been having with them. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I'm sure there's a lot of good ones out there. However, I haven't seen them yet. Seems since they started having their ship made in Mexico, Medico, we're getting nothing but crapola. Turn this off so I can see. Off, on, off. On. Turn it all the way up. Drops all the way down. Nah. All right. That's it. I'm done. No more. Okay. That's what's left of that solder station, and that's what I think of it. The only thing is I want to take these four switches off. I'm not going to do that now, but uh, I salvaged a few pieces that I know that I can use, which is basically a few veritables and a couple on-offs and the power jack in the back with the on-off switch. Uh, so at that point, that, oh, and the meter, uh, and the little toggle switch, but that's about it. So that's all I salvaged on it. That's all I need. And uh, so much for this piece of crap. That's just what it is. And like I say, I've seen guys advertise it, well, show it, saying they just got it. They just received it. They love it. Well, you know what? A lot of them guys are basically getting paid to do that, like I said earlier, because uh, 
that was given to them. So that's basically payment. Uh, and then some of the guys get them and like them like I did. When I first got this, I thought it was the best thing. All right. It was better than when Reese's Pieces added Reese's peanut butter to the Reese's cup. I mean, it was like the bomb. And then uh, a couple months later, started having problems with it. And then again, more problems. So, uh, to me, now, never again. Won't buy it again. So I'm gonna go look at that well where I'm looking at. It's made in Germany, not China. I'm gonna pay a little more for it. However, probably gonna get a lot better product for our money. So that's where I'm at, guys. I'll be back.